How we doing everybody? Welcome back. Todd here. Appreciate you stopping by. So today I just got home from work here and I'm out in the wood yard and a couple topics kind of crossed my mind. I thought uh, that's what I'd address in today's video. One of them is it's a new year and uh, I kind of made a comment at back 40 in his last video about him uh, making some changes and taking down the wall there by his boiler and I had to chuckle because I was doing the same thing. Uh, you know, when you start off a new year, you kind of ask yourself, you know, and I'll just use the wood yard as an example. Uh, my son Evan and I kind of started talking, to, you know, what really worked for us last year, what really kind of annoyed us. And there was a few things that we are going to change. Uh, nothing major, nothing big, but just a few things here, which I'll flip the camera around here in a minute. We'll do kind of a wood yard walk and we'll talk about those. But, uh, you know, I just was putting some Christmas decorations away in the back garage and you kind of get into that mood when you start off a new year and, you know, when I'm tripping through things that I haven't used in a while and this kind of stuff like that just kind of gets you thinking. So that's what we're doing today. And if you see the beautiful stack of walnut here behind me, I got the splitter out. I am going to get some splitting done today. Ran out of time uh, in the last video, but uh, we have... Uh, cooled off here uh it's not very pretty outside but feels good it's in the mid 30s and i was sweating yesterday so here we are on this weather yo-yo again so stick with me i'm gonna flip the camera around we're gonna do a little wood yard walk and kind of bring everybody up to speed what we got going on all right let's see if i can keep this short you know that's hard for me so real quick this is our original firewood rack that we stored our personal firewood in, and that's how this all started. But when we decided to start cutting more and more and sell it, we were running out of room fast. So that's where the IBC totes came in. So the y'all have been uh, watching me for a while know we store most of our wood here in IBC totes. And I'll walk you over here. That is two rows wide. So when they're all full, which uh, there's three of them empty right now, we're able to hold nine cords right there that's all staying that's been working great even though we don't have equipment and we do not lift those and move them around it still gives us the ability to get a lot more wood because they're double stacked in a smaller area uh if you all watch the videos you'll probably think something looks a little different right here there used to be a roof a one pitch roof right here over this over this uh two ranks ricks of firewood evan decided he didn't like that that's one thing that's going away it was kind of hard to get underneath there and get that filled and to get wood out of it so that's going away and uh y'all know i like a nice nice if i could talk today it'd be great <laughs> uh tidy wood yard and this whole ugly splits area back here that's all going away too i did sell a lot of it in the ugly splits bin up by the firewood stand and I'm going to consolidate, work on consolidating that down today. And uh, so that's all going to change. This platform you see here on the ground has been working out great. Uh, it's going to get moved. We bring wood home from the farm and dump it on there. And that's usually what we sell first uh, in the firewood stand. It's going to get moved. Evan wants to move it right over here. There's kind of a little ditch right here we're going to straddle that ditch with that the goal when this is all said and done is these three rows of firewood to me just look awesome and that's what i want this whole wood yard to look like so we're going to move all this stuff and there's going to be three more rows right here just like those because that's what works for us now and it's all part of evolving and growing you're constantly making changes. So that's what we got going on. So I'm going to get the trailer backed up, start moving some ugly splits, get them consolidated. And then when the rest of this firewood is sold, we're going to start with these other three rows. And it's all part of it. That's what works for us. And then, you know, the beginning of this new year is just kind of set set us back and thought man what do we do to make it easier and that's what it's all about start off a new year and say what can we do to make this year better so with that being said we got some walnut to split and some wood to move and it looks like my sidekick just got out here from school so let's get something done
Well, everybody, look at that sky back there. Got so busy, I almost missed it. Beautiful sunsets here in the evenings. So this is what we got done so far. We got a beautiful trailer of walnut here. And I thought I was making some uh, gain on this uh, round pile. And Evan here was down there rolling more down the hill out of the back of his truck. <laughs> But yeah, we got a little bit done, and uh, let me flip around here. Evan, in the beginning there, when I was moving those ugly splits, got that done and got it stacked. So, you seen in the beginning there, when we first started splitting some real ugly stuff, we had a bunch of that jammed in between that tree there. It's one of those, uh, or some of those splits, you know when you're toward the end of the evening, you're getting tired, and... Uh, you take one look at them and go, I'm not messing with that tonight. That's where those all ended up, right there. So we split them all up. We got them over here in the trailer. They're going to be going in the ugly splits uh, pile out at the farm. So what we're going to do here now is get this here stacked before it gets dark, and uh, we'll bring you all along for that. So, all right, y'all, I knew I said that was pretty a while ago, but look at this. We were over here stacking away and just noticed that. That's awesome. All right, back to stacking. Well, all right, everybody. Probably got to wrap this one up here. Unfortunately, I am losing daylight fast. So we're going to continue to work away here a little bit, but we did get a pretty good start on the uh, stack back there. And uh, I got a lot of them ugly splits, all of them but one split up. It's too big for the splitter. I'm going to have to cut it down. And I got them moved. Got my bin over here filled up, and I also filled one in the garage. So as I was doing that, Evan was working, and uh, we just kind of tag-teamed it. So, yep, there you go. So, like I said, we got a lot more work to go on next door over here, but we wanted to get ready and get prepared for it. There ain't no sense in going over there and bringing a whole lot more home when we knew we wanted to make some much-needed changes here to make it easier for us, and it's just what works for us. may not work for you. But this is how we have to do it with our space. So uh, kind of excited to see what the, what it's going to be like next year. And uh, that's what it's all about is to kind of stop and take a look back and reflect and uh, see what you can do to make your next year even better. So with that being said, man, I appreciate everybody sticking around with me till the end if you've made it this far. And uh, like I always like to say, until next time, get outside. We'll see you.